Slum 1200 GGI Mob, and I'm back. Slum 1200 GGI Mob, and I'm back. Slum 1200 GGI Mob, and I'm back. Back, back. Crochet New Orleans, man. Yes, they're saying if a little past 94 and the was on the street, a gangster, fuck all that. In New Orleans, murder make you popular. If you murder a few people, the women are going to love you. That's crazy. It sounds crazy. It is crazy. But that's New Orleans. Everybody want to be attached to something. So if she's not doing nothing, she can attach her, her name to your name. Now she's somebody. She see fast money. Nice clothes, nice shoes. I can go, you know, I'm in 19th grade. I can go shopping in sacks. My boyfriend sells drugs. He can kill five people. That's my boyfriend. So now she has a name. Slum 1200 GGI mob shit, and I'm back. So I'm back with another episode of New Orleans Most Fair Steppers of the 90s. And it's going to be part seven. It's going to be my top ten. Part seven. So we're at number one of the list. I, at number one on the list, I got Pokey and Mice out the Magnolia. Shout out to Pokey and Mice. Think Pokey and Mice have been home for a little minute now, probably a couple years. I heard they didn't change their life around too, so shout out to them. Cause doing them used to be pulling off a lot of different little acts in the city. They even used to be coming through our hood trying to go with the moving jack shit. They really caught a couple people slipping in my hood too at one point in time. So Pokey and Mice are gonna be number one on my list at on the top ten of part seven. New Orleans most fair steppers of the nineties. Number three on my list. Gonna be the infamous Mooney out the thirteenth. AKA Urkel. That's gonna be number three on my list. Y'all already know what's up with Mooney, Mr. 50 Shots. You feel me? Y'all seen him on video with BG and on different little stuff pertaining to BG. And he was actually indicted on the Telly Hankton them case. You feel me? All them boys doing the elbow right now. So free them. Shout out to Mooney, man. Shout out to that 13. So Mooney gonna be my number three. My number four, gonna be Lay Lou out the 12 walk. Willow and Miley. Shout out to Lay Lou. That Lay Lou gonna be my number four. And they gonna have a lot of people on here that y'all didn't heard of. Just like they gonna have a lot of steppers that y'all haven't heard of. So if you haven't heard of them, just know that if I named them, they was out here getting it on in the 90s. So Lay Lou gonna be my number four. My number five, gonna be Black Tree out the 12 wall, slash Calio. Long live my big homie Tree. Calio chilling, all them, they actually know Tree. He actually got a, a baby mama out the Calio. Shout out to Dion too. Long live Tree. <sighs> so Tree gonna be my number five. And my number six, gonna be another. Out the cat, out the um twelve walk, sneaky T, long little Troy man. Now see this individual here, dude was he got the right name. I'm talking about dude was so out of his mind. He loved the Mac Ten. That was his favorite gunner choice, a Mac Ten. Man, dude used to leave. He'll leave off the set and wouldn't tell nobody where he going, and it be going smoke some shit and it come back and you'll just know that he didn't went dead something. That's why they started calling him Sneaky T. He used to like to sneak off and, and do his little killings by himself. You know what I'm saying? So Sneaky T going to be my number six. So my number seven going to be another stepper. And actually this person right here that I'm about to name had some shit going on with my hood and was actually from like, you know, all my hood and they little hood was all in the same little area. So 
At number seven, gonna be Frog off Drives and, on Seven Street. Long live Frog. So I'm gonna tell y'all a little something about this individual right here. Like Frog, I would grow up under Frog them and Tree them. Like I stayed on Drive Street on Tyler Down and Drives and Frog them hood. And I stayed in the 12 wall, so I used to be on both sides. So this how crazy and cutthroat and close shit used to be back in the Jeep. Now, they used to be having dances at car in school. And one of my big homies had got deleted around there. Long live Dave. Dave had got deleted. So when Dave got deleted, like, they had a fight or whatever. He had a fight with the lawyer. Poke and Mice and was fighting with my big homie and them. So after the dance, they started shooting. So whole time, like, at, you know, years went on, my, my hood beefing with the Noya. They thinking that Poke and Micey had actually crushed my big homie. But the whole time, it was the dude Frog. Like, Frog pulled up in the midst of them fighting and shit. Frog pulled up in the rally's parking lot. I told Dave, get in the car. When Dave got in the car, he hit him a couple times and kicked him out of the car. So, and my big homie in their mind, they thinking that it was Poke and Micey work. And that wasn't never them dudes smoke. So all them years they was beefing back and forth with each other. It was the it was the wrong people, you know what I'm saying? Like, and that's how crazy shit be. But shout out to them though, man. Like I said, shout out to Poke and Mice and shout out to that Noya, man. Long live Frog, long live big, my, my big homie Dave, man. Long live Sneaky T, long live Tree. So Frog will be my number seven. My number eight gonna be Funky Four out the Noya. Shout out to Funky Four. This was another person right here that was about his business, getting that bread and doing this thing out here on some stepping shit. So Funky Four gonna be my number eight. My number nine gonna be Arthur out the St. Thomas, man. Long live Arthur. So this would be the person that would, that you would see when they was doing the shit from the jail, HOD, and they had the dude leaving the jail all on Bourbon Street talking to police and shit. That was Arthur. You feel me? Arthur actually was getting it on with G-Money out the Thomas too. Long live G-Money. Them boys used to be going back and forth and shit in the 90s, so. Long live Arthur, man. Arthur gonna be my number nine. And my number 10. Gonna be Marcel out the rat hole. Long live Marcel. This was another person that was getting that bread and a spin your shit like a, like a spinning top. Long live Marcel. Shout out to that rat hole. So that's gonna be my, that's gonna be my top 10. A part seven of New Orleans most fair steppers of the nineties. So y'all get in that comment section, hit that like button, make sure the notifications turn on, hit that subscribe button, and stay plugged. Slum twelve hundred GGI mob shit. Put a loaf of bread on your head like I was baby. Now. Nigga said he pull up and spray, wasn't no saving. Shit, I'm out your trapping, no capping, trying to be my baby. Now. Yeah, I keep the fifty. You dig your grave, I'ma lay you. I ain't with the back and forth beefing all on the internet. I'ma catch you lacking in traffic, nigga, and leave you there.